Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion and today I'm gonna to be working with the Mod Podge resin to create all this really cool jewelry. Now Mother's Day is right around the corner. These could make some great Mother's Day gifts. Maybe you're selling at craft fairs over the spring and summer or maybe you just wanna spice up your own wardrobe for spring. These projects are gonna be really fun for you. We're going to be using an earring mold like this, working with our resin. And we're also going to be using a hair clip mold. So I'm gonna show you quick, quickly how you make hair clips, but we're gonna concentrate on the earrings. I'm gonna show you start to finish. We're gonna do jump rings, everything. Now, one thing that I love to do is I'm gonna show you how you can take your scrap resin, don't chuck it, and you can use these cool geode molds to create some fun geodes. Now this is all just scrap resin that normally would be headed to the garbage. Nope, I like to just keep a mold like this on hand and fill it up as I go. Now these rocks are super cool. These are like these gems, geodes, whatever you wanna call them, crystals. This is all scrap resin that's left over from projects. So I like to keep a mold like this on hand too. And once you are um, got your things mixed up and you've got your earrings poured, you can just keep adding your extra to these fun little molds. Now today we're gonna add four different things to our resin. We've got some pearl mica powders that's gonna create this very cool uh, look here. That's uh, alcohol inks and our pearl powders. I'm gonna show you ultra fine glitter. This is a little bit of ultra fine glitter. That's the same glitter, but we've got a lot going on there. We're gonna do alcohol inks like on these beautiful leaf earrings here, and we're gonna explore chunky glitter. So four different things we're gonna be adding, and as usual, it's going to be safety first. I will be wearing all my protective gear, so this is going to be a hands video, and let's dive right on in. First up, we're gonna be using a mask with an organic vapors filter. We're gonna be using some protective gloves, rubbing alcohol to get out our air bubbles. You're gonna need a timer, a measuring cup, and I like to use a popsicle stick to stir. Our add-ins are gonna be alcohol inks, chunky glitter, ultra fine glitter, and some pigment powders, mica powders. We've got our Mod Podge resin, and of course, our molds. To mix our resin, we're going to mix equal parts of resin part one and resin part two, which is the hardener. We're going to use a timer. We're going to mix this for three minutes total. And again, that's equal parts. So I'm gonna go for three ounces of part one and three ounces of part two. When you're mixing, it's important that you scrape down the sides of the mixing container. You wanna make sure that you really have all of it blended together. Once you've completed that, after three minutes, you'll let it set for a minute just to let some of the air bubbles settle. Then you're ready to start your pouring. Okay, let's mix up our first color. We're gonna use our pearl mica powder. That's a white pearl. And we'll just add a small scoop of that and then just mix some of our mixed up clear resin right into a cup and just stir it with a popsicle stick. You'll start to see it blending together and it'll create a really pretty pearl color when it's finished. For this, we're gonna make a barrette. So we'll go ahead and just pour that into our barrette mold. If you go over the edge a little bit, it's no big deal. You can just trim that away after it's hardened or cured. Look at that pretty color. Now, if we wanna make a color color, let's add a drop or two of alcohol ink to our pearl mix, and now we'll have a colored pearl. This is really great for spring and summer, some beautiful pastels. And you can just go ahead and pour that right on into your barrette mold. If you saw me tapping down on the mold, I like to give it a, just a little tap. It helps get the resin to really go into all the little places, helps settle any air bubbles. And speaking of air bubbles, let's give it a little spray with some rubbing alcohol right on the top. Now we're gonna set that outside and let it dry overnight. This is that tray I was talking about. Just go ahead and add any of your extra bits. You don't wanna throw those away. Add them to some of these molds that you have on hand and create something new and fun, different each time. 
Okay, next we're gonna do our chunky glitter. You can do this in any color, but I'm going for this kind of blue and green color palette today. You'll just mix the chunky glitter with your clear resin. Uh, I don't like to use too much of the chunky glitter because I still like to have that clear coming through. Let's use this big um, earring mold here. I like to use a popsicle stick or a toothpick or a silicone stick just to really move that glitter into position. That's one thing that's great about this is you can really scoot that glitter where you want it. Don't forget to spray the top with a little alcohol ink and let's make sure we use up our little spare bits in our really cool geode that we're making here. Or I should say agate slice, this is an agate slice. And you can mix that around. Once this is done, you'll see it'll just be loaded with colors. We can add a little bit more mica to it and that'll create that sort of white that you see naturally. Next, we're gonna look at some more alcohol inks. I've got um, this really cute leaf mold and it's beautiful. We wanna do kind of a marbled look there. So we're gonna use two different colors. I'm gonna start with the light green. It's almost like a mustardy acid yellow. So let's add some of that. And I don't wanna mix it too much because I want some of those highs and lows. I want it to have more of a marbled effect. If you wanted a solid color, then go ahead and mix it all the way. But you'll see even with the green that I added, that dark green, I'm just gently mixing it. Now let's pour that in. One thing I should say is we're not using any mold release. This is all silicone molds and these molds do not require any kind of spray release or anything. They'll all just pop right out and you'll see that once these have cured. Go ahead and make sure you fill in all those little spots. Yeah, let's take a look there, get a little bit more. If you go over, it's no big deal. And we'll give that a little spritz with our alcohol. Add some more of that to our our scrap, <laughs> our scrap project going on over here. Okay, next up is ultra fine glitter. For a solid look, you're gonna wanna use a small amount of resin and a lot of glitter. And that will give you a really solid, thick glitter look. This is really great, well, for any of the molds, but great for these little small pieces, the little earring connector pieces or toppers or danglers really great and you might want to you know move that mold around like i was just doing just to get all of that into position for a very light glittery look you will go ahead and pour your resin first and then just add a tiny amount of glitter and that will create a really beautiful um, elegant sparkle but a very it's very sheer and um, very subtle and it's it's quite pretty. So either way, it's, it's whatever look you're looking for. Now, don't be afraid to mix up your glitters. Again, I'm a big fan of just kind of playing around. So I'm gonna add some of that to our chunky glitter and see what kinds of combos we come up with. You can really have fun with resin. Um, you know, the big rule is safety, but other than that, just experiment and have a good time. Once you have all your molds filled, you're gonna set them aside and let them cure for 24 hours. Then you'll be ready to unmold them. Okay guys, it's been 24 hours since we poured our resin. I let them sit in a non-drafty place overnight and I did my best not to mess with them. And now it comes my favorite part. We're gonna unmold all of our goodies and then we're going to create our earrings. All right, let's take a look at what we made.
Everything turned out so beautiful. I have a couple of pieces, small pieces that need a little trimming and a little bit of sanding where it overflowed, but I'm not even gonna worry about that today. So I wanna show you a close up of what our barrette pieces look like. And we've got all different shapes for our earrings. For these earrings, we're gonna be using two parts, a little top dangle part and then our bottom part. And I'm gonna show you how to string them up. Let's take a look at our glittery pieces. We've got our glitter embedded in there. So beautiful. That was our big chunky glitter and here's our just ultra fine glitter. And that glitter, it's the same. So this is our ultra fine glitter with not very much glitter. This is that same glitter, but we used a lot. Look at the difference. Same glitter, just a matter of how much you wanna put in. And let's quickly take a look at how cool our beautiful geode slice turned out. That's the top side. Here's the back side or vice versa, whichever side you like best. And here's our cool scrap gemstones, geodes. This has all just been done with our scrap resin that was destined for the garbage bin. I just kept pouring it in and pouring it in and look at how cool these turned out. We're gonna need a few supplies for our earrings. We're gonna use some jump rings and some ear wires. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First, we're gonna attach a large jump ring to the leaf portion of the earring. You wanna move your pliers forwards and backwards in a twisting motion, not pulling apart the jump ring. You're also going to attach a jump ring to the copper portion of the earring. That's that little glittery circle shape. Then you're gonna use another small jump ring and attach an ear wire to that. Then you'll just connect all of the different pieces together, making sure that your earring is facing the proper direction. It's really that simple. For our hair clip, you're just gonna use a little heavy duty glue on the back of a hair clip and then position it onto the back side of your resin hair clip. Let that dry for overnight and then you'll be ready for a style and hairdo. Thanks for joining me guys. Remember, safety first when it comes to resin. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to try resin. Have a great weekend. We will see you back here next Thursday on Facebook and next Saturday on YouTube. Make sure you use the hashtags plaid crafts and Mod Podge so we can see what you're making.